Okay, I might just jump back in the group. I think those were the questions were asked during the stream. Now, we were up to uh, Akuna. We went through Ahmed's questions. Uh, Sierra. Right. So, Sierra, Sierra asked a, a couple of questions here. Hello, guys. I submitted my onshore partner visa, and I'm now ready to upload my documents. So, she's used Visa. She's prepared her partner visa, right? Super excited that she submitted it. That got that weight off her shoulders. And now she's uploading the documents. Okay, she's ready to upload her stuff to the department systems. Uh, she says, finally, for years I've been preparing PDFs of the four pillars. Then I saw this, which is a screenshot. Okay. Um, since there is no specific part where I can upload other pillars except for the nature of commitment and household, where should I upload others? Okay, so what I'm going to say is the department upload recommended categories is pretty badly um, built. You know, it, it, it often their recommended items overlap. Some are not even relevant to the visa that's been applied for. So that's my starting point. You don't overthink too much what the categories are there, okay? What matters is that you are uploading your relationship documentation, that you have followed what we recommend in VZ and what we talk about in these lives and the questions that we answer, and that you have renamed your documentation appropriately so that a case officer knows what that document is. And again, that's things that we recommend automatically in the VZ checklist, okay? So that's my starting point, is don't stress too much about these upload categories just matters that you have collated your evidence and it's ready to be uploaded, irrespective of where you're actually uploading in the checklist. That being said, uh, I did provide, um, I did provide Sierra a link to our IMI upload guide, okay, which is a separate kind of resource that we use internally to kind of help train our staff to know where to upload documentation in the IMI checklist. So we are hoping to incorporate this IMI upload guide in the VZ checklist, meaning there's going to be uh, its own column where it says, you know, where to upload your passport. And it gives you an appropriate, a recommended IMI upload category for that particular document. Again, though, understanding what I said initially in that it really doesn't matter what category you put it under. If anything, you're just, you know, by uh, nominating an, uh, an appropriate category, hopefully you're speeding up the process for a case officer. So that's really, I feel what you're doing is that you're just organizing your documentation so that when it gets to a case officer, it's organized. However, because you're Visa users, your documentation is already organized. So I'm not concerned about where you're actually uploading it. But look, if the government give us a tool to try to categorize documents a little bit better, then we do try to use it to the best of our ability. So that's why we have that in the upload guide. So anyone who's in this group can download that guide and it'll give you recommended uh, upload categories, okay? But like I said, there are plans to incorporate that in the VC checklist. Question two is, do I need to upload the same document to each part that will ask for it? And no, there's no need to upload one document twice, even though you could arguably upload that document under various categories. And th this is again what I'm trying to say with regards to the, um, the, the rigidity of that IMI checklist is that what they're recommending, you could attach you know, your bank statements could go under various categories. You know, your, your photos really, you could probably put under various categories. Your civil union certificate, arguably you could put under various categories. So there's no right or wrong category necessarily. Um, so certainly there's no, and certainly there's no need to upload that document twice just to hit, you know, both of those recommended or required items as per that checklist. The things that are recommended and required are the things that we have listed in VZ and taught, taught you as users. Those are the things that we upload in our applications for partner visas and we don't get partner visas refused. And that's why we've built the system in that way so that you know what to do without needing to use us to do it for you. For the parts that are not applicable for me and my partner, do I need to upload something saying that it's not applicable or should I just leave it as is? Leave it as is. Okay, if something's not applicable, it's not applicable. You don't need to attach a statement that says this is not applicable. No need. 